Hi, it's Michelle from Wall and Dilly Library and I've got a craft at home idea for you of making a bear craft. Grrr. So as you can see, I've used a few circles and some eyes, drawn a mouth to make this craft. So let's get started. I've used red, yellow and orange cardboard. You can use white cardboard or any colour you have at home. If you use white, you're welcome to colour it in. It's up to you how creative you want to be. So... First I got started by I traced a saucer onto a sheet of red cardboard, drew a line to the centre of the circle after I cut it out and cut it across the line. So I've got a red circle here which will form the bear's face. Then I took a good old Aussie jar of Vegemite and I traced it onto yellow cardboard. Again, I drew a line to the centre of the circle and I cut along the line as well as cutting out the circle, of course, to form the bear's muzzle. I then took the lid of a glue stick, traced onto orange cardboard, traced an orange circle, drew a line to the centre of the circle or so, cut along the line and cut out the circle like so. So we're going to get started, once you've done that, on making the cones for the bear's face. For that you'll need a glue stick. Along the line where you've cut or where I've cut, you'll just pop some glue into a triangle pattern. To form a cone, just fold like so, press down along the line, press down well to hold it, and that will form the bear's face. Next here, the yellow cardboard is going to be used to form the bear's muzzle. So I'll take the glue stick, pop some glue again in a triangle shape, twist like so, press down to form another cone which will be the bear's muzzle. I've got the orange circle here, so I'm going to again take the glue stick, a little bit of glue near the line that I'd cut again, the same way to form into a cone, fold along the line there where I've put the glue, just fold and press down. Now we've got three cones and we're going to assemble them now to make the best face. So I'm just going to pop some glue into the centre of and around the outer area of the inside of the yellow cone, pop down. Now the muzzle of the bear is attached onto the bear's face, glued on there. Take the orange circle, the nose, little bit of glue on the inside there, press down. Now we've got the bear's face but it's missing eyes, missing ears and missing a mouth, a smile. So we're going to get them done now. So what I've done is I traced again the glue stick onto the red cardboard to match the face. I traced two more circles using the glue stick lid. I'm going to pop some glue. I cut them out and I'm going to pop some glue on the bottom of those circles Pop them on and they're going to form the ears of the bear face. There we go. That's looking really great, everybody. Really, really great. Now, I've got some Google eyes here that I'm going to use for the eyes of my bear. But if you've got some white and black cardboard or any colour cardboard, you could just cut some small circles out of the cardboard and use them for your bear. Not everyone has the Google eyes at home. So I'll pop one of the Google's eyes on for the first eye, pop some glue, on, glue onto the second Google eye and pop that onto my bear. Looking really great. Needs a smile, needs a mouth everybody. So I'm going to take a marker, black marker, any texture, a pencil or pen will do and just draw a mouth onto the bear. All done. Well, there's another craft activity done. Thank you for joining Michelle from Wallandilly Library. Great job, everyone. And 
Stay well and stay safe. And it's bye for now from me. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.